Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing all right. Could you tell us your name? Um, well, welcome to Bishop Guja State. Now, this piece uh, is called Secret. The secret which is here is uh, the, the life which is in the forest or they say in the universe. Uh, I'm trying to highlight the life between the plants, animals, human beings, as well as birds. Okay. Yes. Do you have anything more you would like to add on to your piece? Yeah, I can simply say that it may also apply to human beings that we, uh, as we go around, we have to study taking place in the forest as well as uh, in, the, in the society. That is what I'm trying to, to highlight on this piece. Nature also white. And the blades, the blades on the head. What are they? Well, these are the petals of a flower and the, the eyes represent the human being as well as the, for the mouth here. It is a, a big like mountain. Yes, I can see that. So I'm trying to put together the human beings, birds, as well as the, the flowers. And the stem here is for the trees. It is the name of the tree. Thank you a lot on your interview. Do you tell us about this piece? Your... Hey. Diamond head. Yes. Uh, the story behind this piece is uh, this man used to believe in magic and he was one of those who was uh, surviving in magic. He, he used to change his head. Sometimes he was changing to a thorn apple. Sometimes uh, he had to change his face into corners and he, uh, that's when he was, there was a, a war between him and the people then he decided to, to look for, for charms so that he can at any time change his face so that people cannot realize him. that's the history of this piece okay and how long did it take you to make uh, such a piece Eight days. Okay. Thank you a lot on your insight. I'm doing all right. Thank you, Master. Could you tell us about this piece? It's a big piece. Well, this piece is called My Spirit and I. My Spirit and I. And uh, what could you tell us about it? Uh, what is here now is uh, this is I and my spirit. I'm trying to tell people how I communicate with my ancestors. I, when I seek, I have to consult them. So I have to, to talk to them uh, through this piece. Uh, even if I am asking for money, I have to beg them. Then they just tell me, wait, and uh, you know, talking with the ancestors, it's difficult to other people, but to my ancestors, they come face to face to me, and they tell me what to do and what I can, what, and they forbid me some of things which I, I want to do, Then they tell me, no, you don't have to do this. Okay. Thank you a lot on your insight. You're welcome. Thank you.